these school supplies and nothing for your LOL dolls? We need to change things up. For the first idea, take a plastic dropper, cut off the edge and the bottom. Wrap one side of the tip with foil and cover it with a layer of colored hot glue. When the glue dries, remove the cap and take a cut flask. Pour some glue inside it. Add glitter and mix well. As soon as the glue turns into a smooth, shiny mass, seal the cut with hot glue. Put the cap on the tube. Attach a label. And you're done! Glitter glue makes your life brighter. And the doll likes it very much. And now take light clay and a ballpoint pen. Take the pen apart and take out the ink. Cut off the tip with a utility knife. Cover the rod with clay. Glue a ball to the place of the cut. Glue ears. Draw a little face using an awl to make a cat. When the clay hardens, you can give the pen to your doll. It's so cute! Let's see what your doll's handwriting looks like. For this idea, you will need a tablespoon and a big flat button. Carefully remove the bowl from the spoon using pliers and fasten the button to it at an angle like this. Next, take a sparkly refill for a hot glue gun. Cut it into four parts. Glue them to the button as legs. What a cute chair! Next, you need a Pringles container. Cut the bottom edge with a utility knife. Cover it with bright fabric. Cut out a small part using sharp nail scissors. That'll be where the legs go. Your new desk is ready. This furniture set will keep your doll's grades up. It's very comfortable. And now we'll tell you what you can make out of a ping pong ball. Cut it in half. Cut off the side. Take an awl and make a pair of holes in the corners of each of the parts. Connect the pieces using wire. Cover the cut with foam paper. Next, glue some elastic bands to the foam paper. Those will be the straps. Draw a pretty face on the cap. Decorate it with flowers. Try it on! What a great backpack! Small, but mighty! It's perfect for going to school! Next, you need a pack of gum. Take the package out and remove the gum. Take the plastic off from the foil. Neatly cut out the cells using nail scissors. Cut off all the excess plastic. Connect a couple of cells. Put tape on one side of the plastic so it can open. Decorate the lunchbox with rhinestones. Put in some food and enjoy your lunch. What do you like to have for lunch? For this idea, take a plastic lid, plaster powder, and water. Pour water into the plaster. Add some green paint to it. Mix everything with a wooden stick. Fill the lid with the mixture. Next, glue wooden sticks around the perimeter of the lid to make a frame. Once everything is dry, you can put the board in the classroom. The topic of today's lesson is arts and crafts for LOL students. Everyone likes to play with Play-Doh, but the container is too big for an LOL doll. But that's no reason to not have fun. Take plastic test tubes, cut the rounded edges off. Make a puddle of hot glue on a piece of cardboard. Put a tube on it. When the glue dries, carefully cut the cardboard along the outline. Glue the sticker to the jar. Fill it with Play-Doh. Paint the cap the color of the Play-Doh so it looks just like the real container. There you go! 
small supplies for the small doll. What can she make out of it? Next, take a palette of mini paints and multicolored perler beads. Lay out a couple of colorful lines on the base like this. Take a sheet of parchment paper. Iron it. When the plastic hardens, remove the piece from the base. What a cute mini palette! Fill it with paint using a thin brush. Now take the brush. Cut off part of it with pliers. Trim the bristles with nail scissors. So let's draw! Oh, You're so talented! And now take a bowl, Elmer's glue, and borax. Pour a few drops of glue into the bowl. Add coloring. Stir the mix with a brush to get a uniform color. Add a few drops of borax. Again, stir well with a wooden stick. Keep stirring until the mixture thickens. Now take an empty container from pills. Cut a couple of cells like this. Glue them together so that they can open on one side. Put the slime in the box and cover it with a lid. Now the doll can have fun at recess. This slime is really small, but it still works. For this idea, take a thick wire. Cut off a small piece using pliers and twist it to make a loop. Cut off the extra. Make two of these pieces. Flatten the free ends of the wire using the pliers. Now connect the parts together and tie them with a thin wire. Now your LOL doll has her own scissors. But be careful, sharp objects aren't a toy. Why is everything so big? What should this poor tiny doll do when she needs a ruler? Let's help her out. Take a disposable plate. Cut a strip out of it using a utility knife. Paint it yellow. Draw brown specks over the entire length. Do you recognize this? It's a giraffe! Next, take a capillary pen and draw markings on the side. There you go! That's much better! This cute ruler looks much prettier than a regular school one. So, who has something to measure? For this idea, take a notebook. Let's make it smaller. Whoosh! Wrap it in a foam paper cover. And glue a plastic bag on top like this. Pour some glitter inside the bag. Add glycerin. Seal the edge. Now your doll is trendy too. After all, anti-stress notebooks are so fashionable. Next, take a straw and a marker. Cut off a small piece of the straw. Remove the back cap from the marker and pull out the rod. Cut off part of the rod to the size of the straw. Put it inside. And now take off the tip of the marker and insert it into the new smaller version. Seal it with hot glue. Put the cap on. A mini marker for your doll? You can use it right now! And now we will show you how you can use chewy fruit candies. Take one piece and knead it in your hands like clay. Take a pen with a cap and cover the cap with the candy like this to get a cup. Cut off the excess with nail scissors. Cut a horn and ears out of foam paper. Glue them to the cup. Draw a pretty face with a marker. Place all the supplies in the cup. An organized desk is the key to good grades. Click like if you agree. Next, take crayons, light clay, and foil. Place a ball made out of clay in the foil. Crush it. Divide the piece into several parts using an awl, like this. Use a utility knife to cut the crayons. Melt them. Pour the liquid wax in the grooves on the foil. 
When the wax hardens, take a mini box and put the crayons in it. Now your LOL doll has her own drawing kit. She seems very happy. Did you like our new craft ideas for LOL dolls? Which one will you try for your doll? Comment below. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, click on the bell, and share this link with your friends.